Welcome to my very own personal project. Now this is a project that I've been working on for a quite a long time actually and the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to show you these settings and how I made them. Now what we have in here is a simple drop down menu that lets us select the controller type. Then we have the sensitivity, we have the overall progress of our game which we have not implemented yet, we have the audio and we have the HD graphics. Okay, now let's take a look at what we have going on in our scene. So this is all the game objects that I have in my scene. I have a game manager and then we have a settings game object that has a settings script attached to it. If we open up the settings script, we should see a very, very simple script that takes care of our settings. Now what I'll do in here is I'll delete these settings and then I will write them again to see how they work. Okay, to start with, we have a toggle in here. Now, the way the toggle works is that you can set it on or off using a script. And the way we're going to set it is by using a player prefs. Okay, so we already have a public void set graphics and it takes in a parameter. You might be wondering where this function is called. So let's go back into our scene and let's try and find that toggle switch. So if we navigate into our scroll view we have a scroll container and inside the container we have all these game objects now one of these game objects contains a graphics toggle as you might have guessed it has that same script attached to it and then in here we can go into the settings and we have all these dynamic functions that we can call so one of these is obviously set hd graphics so what this will send is a very simple is on or off boolean so that is all we need as a input from our ui so after we take this boolean all we want to do is save it as a player prefs so to do that we are going to say player prefs dot set int now you might have noticed that we have a set float set int at a and a set string values. So we can obviously use a float, but we're going to use a int since we're saving whole numbers and we don't have booleans in here. So we're forced to use integers. So we're going to set this as a integer and inside we are going to be careful to use a string that is exactly the same as this one. So we're going to copy graphics index and we're going to pass it in here. For the second parameter, we're going to see that it takes in a integer value. Now in here, we're taking it as a Boolean. So we're going to have to convert this Boolean into a integer. So the way we're going to do that is by filtering this Boolean. So we can just say a if statement in here and we can pass in our filters, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use another simple method. So we're going to say Boolean is equal to true then we're going to pass in a question mark we're going to write two after two we're going to write two dots and after two dots we're going to write zero now let's quickly recap what we've done in here so we're asking if this boolean is true now another way of saying is boolean is true is by simply passing it boolean now if this is true this will be executed if this is false this other one will be executed now this expression is in here is basically the same as saying if boolean then two if else boolean zero and obviously the two and the zero is responsible for this set integer so it's a very very simple way of asking a if statement in here and that will cover our set index so in here now we're only setting this integer. So after we set the integer, we want to tell Unity to actually apply those settings. And the line responsible for that is this one. So what we're going to do is copy this line and paste it in here. And then we're going to close this line. So a quick recap, what we've done is we've taken this Boolean, we've asked it if it's true or false, and then we simply compare it with the Unity graphics settings functions so the result is a very nice experience and if you're building your game for a higher end we obviously want these graphics to be as high as possible but if you're building their game for mobile devices i guess you can have this set to low and the game should be running at a very high fps right here okay that's all i've prepared for this video i hope you 
learned something from it. I know it's very simple, it's very short, and you can obviously drive on water, because why not? 